welcome back to my channel guys my name is Carl at incarcerating thank you again for watching my previous video I hope you guys liked it if you haven't watched it yet click this box here so you can watch it please like subscribe and share if you haven't subscribed yet please click the subscribe button because it will really help my channel grow so guys today I will show you how I curate my outfits as I transition from spring to hell I mean to summer all the rest of the world is enjoying the snow and the freezing weather we are lucky here in the Gold Coast that it's not too hot it's just the perfect weather you can still wear your cardigans and light outerwears while enjoying the breeze and the beach sometimes it can be overcast so at this stage I wouldn't still call this lookbook summer wardrobe for me this is more of a transitional styling slash look right now i am seeing a lot of linen i'm seeing a lot of light fabrics very earth tone colors and for the footwear it's always the birkenstock and thongs which is very traditional here in australia however these are the colors that are emerging in the fashion scene at the moment there's a lot of earth tones like taupe mocha caramel and mushroomy beige and khaki and white are always a staple piece and also pops of colors like pastels lemon yellow and bubblegum pink it's quite popular at the moment but i would say that i'm always faithful with my anti-fashion styling because i'm always inspired by my favorite belgian designers like chris van norton and easter is margela but no matter what season I am in, I would say that I'm always faithful with anti-fashion styling. So I'm really happy to share with you guys how I curate the pieces that I wear for spring summer 2021. So outfit number one for my first outfit, I am wearing a tunic from Rick Owens. I wear the back as the front part, if that makes sense, because I wanna create that clean look leave the drapey details on the back or my margula neck piece just to create interesting piece on the rather tonal outfit and to make it more interesting i wore my rick owens cantilevered shoes and also because nowadays my outfits are very very minimal so it's very easy to play around with my pieces i still do layer but not as heavy as the colder season Outfit number two, this is actually inspired from the previous Rick Owens runaway season which is the Anthem menswear. So I created a version inspired by that collection. I am wearing Cos top which I really really love. It's similar to the Rick Owens silhouette if you may. Like it has this sash details in the front that you can style. You will see it in the video so I paired it with my Anthem boots from the dark shadow line. Also, I'm wearing just a simple short that thigh high boots work well with like shorts or drop crotch pants. But since it's a summer styling, I wear something really, really light and short. It's not gonna be a summer styling without the sunnies. Whenever I wear something simple like a basic tee or a tank top, I just put the cuff and it creates a whole different vibe on the outfit. It makes it more anti fashion and avant garde. You may think also that the outfit is rather on the heavier or wintry side but since it's a white top it's giving off a fresh and summery vibe all right outfit number three i wear this satin top which is asymmetrical a faux leather culottes from cos so the tan pants work well with the olive top and i'm really excited because here i am wearing a newly purchased Rick Owens beige boots that I got during Christmas just to keep everything on the neutral color. So this look as well was inspired by Michelle Lamy. Whenever I think about, you know, styling for summer but still wanting to look anti-fashion and avant-garde, I always Google Michelle Lamy's summer photos because she's often wearing interesting pieces but she actually knows how to style it for summer. That's what I really, really need to learn more and explore because I always find myself 
reaching for jackets, cardigans, and you know, sometimes it's fun to embrace summer and just basically show your skin. I will show a couple of photos of Michelle Lamy. Like she's often seen wearing like shorts and tank tops, but as you can see, she still wears boots, drapey tops, and bangles and big neck pieces. And in terms of like choosing colors and tones, She's so skillful. I like how she pairs the olive green with her mustard clothes or gray pieces. She's just a genius. Outfit number four, yellow and gray is a Pantone color of 2021. In my outfit, I really love how it complemented the yellow top from her Owens. So for 2021, I promised myself to explore beyond my comfort zone. I bought this yellow top and I finally wore it outside. It's inspired from the Rick Owen Spring 2020 collection wherein he surprised everyone with the color lavender pink and yellow. So somehow this is like a, a tribute to that collection but in a more low-key way. I Again, I wore them with my other cantilevered boots and to complete the whole look, I used my John Paul Gaultier bag. I actually bought it from Japan in a vintage shop. I wore it with my futuristic geometric sunnies. The tunic can be worn as a dress or a top. I mean, when I think about summer pieces, it's actually basic, low-key, and simple. I still want to keep my aesthetic editorial and cerebral. Outfit number five, it's actually my normal uniform during the day. Like, I always wear black. But during the summer, obviously, I pick pieces that are thin, lightweight, and breathable. In this outfit, I'm wearing the cost long sleeve top and the Milimisi skirt and a lightweight pants to give off that apron Japanese styling and of course I wore boots with this look. Summer doesn't stop me from wearing boots. Like it's true that black attracts heat and it can be uncomfortable at times but you know I love black and it's very easy because I'm always on the go. This is how I style black during spring summer. If I want to make this look low-key I can wear these with just normal derby or lace-up boots. But for this editorial lookbook, I wanna make it a bit extra. So I wore my usual anti-passion weird boots from Rick Owens. So before I forget to tell you, this is inspired from the Runway 2011 called Limo, Fall Winter 2011 collection. The collection, the models are wearing leather gloves, but in my styling, I just wore it as it is. For my next outfit, this is an inspiration from Tyler Ackerman, Spring 2011 collection wherein he presented really fluid dresses and long gowns in red, orange, tangerine, and all those really interesting colors. So in the lookbook, I wore my helmet playing red top, mixing my red top with an orange pants to create an interesting story. And the star of the outfit is my Prada Hot Wheels Sunnies. That's why I love this whole look because it's still anti-passion and avant-garde. And if you don't have red boots yet, you need to at least have one in your wardrobe. And for my next outfit, this is a really nice transitional look because here I'm still wearing jacket. But instead of going for an oversized heavy jacket, I wore my Helmut Lang jacket. It's very slim and crop so it doesn't look heavy and I pair it with a colored top from Helmut Lang as well. Um, it's actually a waterproof drape top. You know, if it's really hot, I can always remove and omit the jacket but for the purpose of this look, I want to showcase how the structured jacket complements with the relaxed top. Also, I wore the drop crotch pants. I think this is from Mari Meko, if you know that brand. For the boots, I wore my trusty and Mister wedge boots. It's actually a knee-high boots. If you're pairing it with something relaxed, like a drop crotch pants, you can actually style it really well. And for my accessories, I wore my Burberry sunnies, which is very futuristic. I think the sunnies can influence and change the whole look. As if I feel that my outfit is lacking something, I feel like I look drab or boring, I just add sunnies and I'm always good to go.
And so for my next outfit, I am wearing a Rick Owens top from the Sphinx collection. Like the top looks like a scrub suit. Plus I really love the color because it's like a grayish neutral mocha. And here I'm wearing it with my white leg pants from Uniqlo, wearing dark boots. I really apologize because I don't normally wear the basic tank tops and shorts or cut off jeans because that's not me. I just really want to show you how, how different I style my wardrobe when it comes to spring summer. It's actually challenging, but it's fun. There you have it guys, and I hope you learned something. So guys, comment down below what you're looking forward to for Spring Summer 2021. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Incarcerating so we can talk more about fashion. Love you so much guys. Stay safe and be nice to everyone. See you in the next video. Bye!